Hello, my name is Terry White, Worldwide Design and Photography Evangelist for Adobe, and it's my pleasure to walk you through how to contribute to Adobe stock from Adobe applications such as Adobe Lightroom CC. So with that, let's take a look at how the process works. It's very easy once you've set up your contributor account, which I've already recorded in a previous video. And once your account's set up, you can do it right from your applications you love most, like Lightroom and even Bridge. So let's take a look. So I'm here in Lightroom CC. I've got a collection of three photos called Good for Adobe Stock. In other words, this is maybe where I, I throw things up front where I'm not really sure if I'm going to submit it or not, but these might be good photos. Now, these are the three originally edited photos. So what I tend to like to do here in Lightroom is take advantage of Lightroom's a virtual copy feature. So for example, if I go up to the photo menu, I can create virtual copies of those photos. And once the virtual copies are created, I can then do whatever I want. I don't have to worry about messing up the originals. That's the great thing about virtual copies in Lightroom CC. All right, so I got my virtual copies. And like I said, now I can do anything I want with these virtual copies, change them in the develop module, recrop them, uh, change any of their metadata, and it will not affect the original photo. So the first thing I like to do is change or give it a title. So I'm going to call this Fall Colors Woman. And they can all be the same title. That doesn't matter. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, take out this caption. The caption's irrelevant on Adobe Stock. Then I'm going to head up to the keywords area. And the keywords is the most important part of the process. So you might be thinking, okay, I need to keyword these. How many keywords do I need? Well, Adobe Stock requires a minimum of five keywords. Uh, how many can I have? You can have up to 50, so anywhere from 5 to 50. So this way, also with the virtual copy, I'm not messing with any keywords that are part of my other workflows. So what might I put in here? I might put in fall, colors, woman, I'm separating these by commas, by the way, uh, model, beauty, uh, makeup, um, I might put in leaves, uh, orange, um, yellow for the colors, and all that's great. We're doing a good job of describing uh, the content from a metadata standpoint. But we also might want to put in some words or keywords that potential uh, marketers are looking for, that, that what they would be searching on. So they might be searching on the word um, autumn, um, uh, fall, we already have fall, so how about fashion? Because this would be, you know, be good for a good fashion ad. Uh, fashionable, I saw there as one of my previous keywords. Um, this puts me in the mind of Thanksgiving, uh, maybe Halloween even. Uh, just things that might pop up in, or, or a person might be searching for um, in, in a, a marketing search that has, again, not... It has something to do with the photo, but it's not just describing what we see. So, for example, lipstick uh, or lip gloss. Actually, that's a good one. Uh, lips, lipstick. Uh, we did uh, beauty. How about facial? So those are the kinds of things we want. Now, I have a list of keywords already kind of set up for this. I just wanted to walk you through how to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste in mine. And I've got a few more in there like glamour and dark and flora and holiday and isolated, so forth and so on. So once I put all my keywords in, the next thing to do is to drag it into the new Adobe Stock collection. So if you, if you have Adobe Lightroom CC, you have this brand new Adobe Stock uh, option and you can click on it to set it up, which is really, it just activates it to your account. Once you've got it set up, you'll have this submit to Adobe Stock uh, option. I can go ahead and drag these virtual copies right in. And now that they've got the three things I need, which is the title, or I'm sorry, the two things I need, the title and the keywords, all I have to do to submit these to Adobe Stock is to click Publish. What Publish will do is take my original formats, whether they're RAW, TIFF, JPEG, PSD, uh, whatever they are, which in this case, these are Photoshop files, it's making high resolution JPEGs. And more importantly, it's, it's signed into my account already. So it's uploading those 
and putting them in the area so I can finish the process and index them. Uh, once they're up there, I'll need to do three more things. I'll need to add categories to them. I'll need to just check the keyword order to make sure they're in the order I'd want them in. And then I'd also need to ch um, choose the category, which in this case, I don't know if I would do people or, or holidays or seasons or something like that. We'll figure that out. And lastly, uh, since this does contain a recognizable face, I'll need to put a model release with it. So um, I do all of that as the last few steps before submitting it. But the beauty of being able to do this right inside of Lightroom is that I can do it right inside of Lightroom where my photos are. Now, while we're waiting for that to upload, if you are a Bridge user, um, here I've got Adobe Bridge CC. Now with Adobe Bridge CC, you have under the Publish panel, which if you don't see the Publish panel, just go under Window and choose Publish. That'll pop up the Publish panel. You can drag and drop images right here to upload to Adobe Stock. So same thing, once you uh, click on the Adobe Stock option in the Publish panel and log in with your account, which it's a two second process, then you can drag and drop and submit via Adobe Bridge as well. So let's go back to Lightroom. Once again, it is uh, converting and uploading those files. So we'll give it a few seconds to do that and then we'll complete, we'll show you what happens and complete the process. All right, the process of uploading just completed and you can see it says to tag your assets and submit them for review, continue to Adobe Stock. So once I click that link, it'll take me over to my uh, Adobe Stock uh, portal where I've got three new files that are ready to um, finish the process and then they'll be ready to be uploaded. So I can select one at a time just by clicking or I can click and hold down the shift key and select all three at the same time. So it even tells me I'm editing multiple files. All right, so now they're all got the same title, which is fine. They all have or should have keywords, which they do. And now, last but not least, I can say what category they go in. Uh, do I want these to be lifestyle, landscape? Well, they're not landscape. They're not plant and flowers. Uh, let's go ahead and just put, it, put her under people. Uh, so we'll put it under people, and then uh, does it contain a recognizable person and or property? Yes, it does. So at this point, you can create a new release if you don't already have one, and that will uh, let you download one as a template and have them sign it, or upload one that you already have. But in my case, I already have one uh, for this person. This person's name is Justina and we'll go ahead and use Justina's model release. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and click save, and these are now ready to go. I can still check them individually and check the keywords. These are the five that it gave it. My other 26 are there, so they're all there ready to go. And if I like it the way it is, if not, I could, for example, drag Thanksgiving uh, up or send it up, I should say, to the top. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's send it to the top. And now that becomes my uh, first keyword of the top five. And then the rest um, are in alphabetical order because they came from Lightroom. So now we'll go ahead and save this one. And now we'll submit these three files for approval. Or if you weren't ready, you can uncheck the ones that aren't ready. Once you submit them, they will join the rest of the things that I've submitted so far in the review queue, waiting for the Adobe Stock um, uh, moderators um, to contribute or to um, approve these based on quality, model release, make sure they're okay, make sure they're not violating any of the guidelines. And once they're approved, which could take anywhere from one to seven days, these three photos will join my over 500 pieces of content for a sale on Adobe Stock. So that's how the process works from Lightroom and, and Bridge. Uh, and I encourage you to start submitting your photos to Adobe Stock today. So with that said, take care, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.